What is good, y'all? Today we have the Ubers Winter Seasonals Finals. I have decided to review this game since um, playing against two people I sort of know, Jovan, has been using our teams in this. Dude, wait, no way he ran NDW. <laughs> I'm looking at that. No Me. way. No. I just realized. Oh my god. Is that our <laughs> NDW team? Uh, no, I don't think we had DOS on it. Whatever it is, that's really funny. Anyway, playing this game between two people I know, um, Oreo, Jovan. Jovan's been watching my vids, I think. Or at least he's been using my teams in this tourney with great success. Uh, of course, as uh, always, Jovan. we are joined by Mr. Don Bone Jones. We are we are both SV Uber's goats, so we know what we're talking about. Um, yeah. Yeah. I haven't played this tier in like a month, so I'm sure everything has changed drastically. No, but nothing that's has changed. Okay. It's just things don't run Terra Normal anymore. Yeah, because uh, Last Respects got banned, right? That's why I'm not seeing any Basque Legion already. Proud to have banned it. Makes sense. Proud to have been one of those people that banned it, but voted like two days late. <laughs> um, all right, let's like actually commentate. We gotta, we gotta like be smart. That NDW, yeah, kind of, is kind of. I'm trying to think what set could he be running. He's if probably it's, if it's a trick. Yeah then it could probably be good into, like if it gets the boost with Meteor Beam, for example, then it can really start running over things like Glyscore. Dude, I actually Maride have to check if it's the same one that we ran. It might be. No, I don't, I'm like 90% sure we didn't have DOS on that team. Oh my God. Wait, 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 he's literally running the same one. It is DOS. He's running the same one, but he put uh, Maride on over return. <laughs> Bro, no oh, fucking way, this guy's running our shit on teams and finals. <laughs> That's all right. Not a good choice. I would I would tell Oreo, but that feels like ghosting. So I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. No, also, that, they're that... locked in. All, all right. right. Wait, wait, right you have the paste RPM. up, right? What what is this? We okay. Um, what's it called? Oreo sent us these teams, so you as the audience get to see the sets now. It's some boot spam balance. Yeah, my my cup of tea. Oh yeah, you would love this team actually. I would love this team actually. Yeah. It does get shit Except on by Mirai though. Yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. Mirai is kind of broken in my IMO. Yeah, when your only ground is Gliscor, it's not it's not great. But you can always revenge, I guess. Yeah, and Gliscor actually counters Mirai on if you run Spadef. Okay, we got we got both players. Oreo's waiting. Okay. Okay, very Ooh, aggressive turn one game. from Jovan. Yeah, I believe if it, I believe if he uh, commits Terra right here, he does kill Maridon. So that's committing Terra normal. Something to be. Yeah, um, this Maridon's also Terra Ghost. Um, oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, or you yeah, could Terra that's... Ghost right here if he wants. Well, honestly, I don't think it's very smart. He has a Fizz Def Arceus in the back. Although if he goes into it, Although... he he will. If he goes on. into it on, he that will to a KO still. I don't think it does. I don't think it two KOs, but he he just taunts on the recover, so we can't stall it out. Yeah, true. He can also always go into his own ditto after and revenge, but he does have Terra Ghost Arc and NDW. This is so funny that he's running our team, dude. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny, man. Yeah, send me the send me the team that Yovan is using. I wanna Dude, I actually I don't even know if it's still on my builder. Um Oh damn it! It'll fuck up my setup. Uh, okay, you don't need to do it. That's it's, fine. It's it's T Wave uh, DOS. Okay, so he does choose oh, to commit he Terra early. Terra. Very interesting. I mean, that lets him uh, live any Karidon hit, so that's cool. That is true. Does he go into his own Maridon? This is. I'm actually. But I have no idea what this Maridon is. Yeah. Oh, uh, such a lucky dodge. That's actually... Yeah, I don't agree with Taunt at all there. I don't um, either. I would have U-turned there on, on yeah. as Oreo's Mariana. I would have taunted her. Dude! No! No! Yovan's getting hacked to shit! Yeah. I mean... Oreo not making the best decisions yeah, right I, now. I don't agree with not any of those plays. No. Not at all. Go into the Gliss score, proc the Toxic Orb. Under Trick Room, his NDW Definitely. could win, though. 
That's very true. Um, if Oreo decides to walk away from his computer. No, 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 so no. See what the Maraidon is. Dude, 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 the Bulker, right. the, the Kyogre is zero, 0 on Spadef. Uh, it is zero, 0 actually. Yeah, no, this is just CM. Okay. Is he Life Orb? Is he Life Orb? Ooh, yeah, that is. Life Orb. Okay, yeah, that is Life Orb. Yeah, so. Actually, I, I kind of get the aggressive taunt that Oreo had to make, because if it was agility, he was pretty fucked, because he burned Terra very early. So I kind of get it, but. I think, I think with the Ditto in the back, it wasn't a good play because he had enough resources to be able to beat Maridon and the other Pokemon. But if he Terra Fairies on him, that's really bad. Oh, Hard Cali is kind of crazy. That is, but I do respect it. Let's see, U turn. Yeah, Calyrex is living on a thread, but there's one mom that can run away with the game. No, not anymore when, when Oreo has a full HP Cali. Oh wait, yeah, high horsepower kills, so you can't even. Yeah. He's also we Oreo's also up on sacks, so rain always stays up. So Karai can't really sweep yeah. either. Yeah, true. I think he's just gonna have to play very well with his Maridon to win. That's that's really his. Oh, this is so bad for him here. Actually, no, he just goes NDW. I think. Yeah, but the issue is, is it enough? Does it break through? Oh, for sure. From here, he, he's Yohan. He has three. I think he has to give up three, especially if it's Meteor Beam, dude. If he's Meteor Beam, <laughs> if he's Meteor Beam, it's actually our team. It, it right. might, dude. Dude, Necrozma has one fifty-seven oh. special attack. Dude, that kills us. Fuck, Calyrex Ice also does not have Ice Rider. It does not have good spadef. Uh, it's base, was it 100? Oh, <laughs> never mind. It's Spadef is not as good as his defense. It's base 130 Spadef. 130 Spadef, and then it's like 160 defense, oh, yeah. Oh, dude, he... This is the kill on the Glacial Wait. Lance. Reset the Trick Room. That's kind of crazy. I respect it, though. I respect it as fuck. Yeah, so now you have to just kind of hope you kill the Calyrex. Otherwise, Calyrex gets up the Trick Room again and then wins the game, so... That is true. Yeah. Oh, turn down the Yovan game. only really has one out here. I'm not even sure if that wins the game. No, he has to tr his 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 out is literally just praying for like every five hit with Karaidon and like a very. No, his it's Maridon. It, it's he, he could honestly run away with the game here, but he'd have to get very unlucky. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's yeah, a trick crazy up. play from or. <laughs> The GG, uh, yeah. Man. I mean, because the thing is, if it didn't kill, if it did kill Carrex, he still had plenty of resources to win anyway. So I, I don't think Oreo was in a losing position. So no, dude, he got I, he got so lucky, man. He got insane. He lucky. did, yeah. He made some pretty bad plays with the Maridon. Um, I mean, yeah, things probably went differently if well. The turn I mean, Terra, if the Marauder was paralyzed, then it didn't. It didn't really have as much of a chance to, you know, chip the Calyrex, for example. So I don't think that it's got that. I don't think it's that it got paralyzed. If his Maraudon landed, it fully O-code. Um, it's modest well, life orb. He's double dance. That 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 fully O-code. And since the Thunder Wave missed, he didn't get a chance to get up a spike or anything. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, um, yeah, because Spike could have been useful here. Uh, is it the next game? Are they playing the next game? Um, yeah, it just started. Where is it? Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Oreo Brain Gambit team. He brought the... Dude! Okay, wait, he kind of got oh. really lucky that he brought the King Gambit team into Hearthstall. This is not. This is one very important thing to note, though. Is this is not Glasses Gambit. He brought the worst Gambit into Stall. This is Balloon Gambit, brought, and oh, yeah. he brought Balloon Gambit. Uh oh. Also, his um, his Maridon set hard loses to Clodzire. It yeah, it does. It never beats Clodzire. That could. I, I mean, it could theoretically be Water Absorb, but also that's I mean, Skarmory. Into into this into this team is like 
so bad because what he has he has photon EQ, um, so he doesn't touch Skarmory at all. Dirge, uh, Dirge with Terra can honestly shut down Gambit, and it fully it fully shits on Arceus. I think Yovan has the matchup advantage. I agree. <clears throat> yeah, um, it, it doesn't feel like you, you know. A lot of the ways Oreo's team tries to support that offensive pressure, it doesn't really work against this stall. Hazard stacking doesn't really matter. You can't really try any ideas with Trick Room NDM. You mm -hmm. might have some ideas with Coridon once the Skeldurge is down, but even then, there's still Terra Ho in the back. So it's going to be really rough if Oreo wants to win this. Yeah. No, the one thing I realized, because I got Rex with this team twice. Um, and Jovan knows this exact team because he's he's played with it in tour, so I'm sure he recognizes it. And I'm pretty sure he's definitely yeah. pulled it up right now. Um, not having glasses gambit in the stall matchup is so bad. Like it is so bad. Yeah, sure. you really do need that power. He also went with think... a weirder glim set, so he's uh he's like more bulky glim for five hit Karai, and I think that's also uh... worse into this team. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think in general, yeah, two thirty six HP. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that, because, well, no, because this team just doesn't answer Karadon very well in general, so that might just be a building issue. No, it's because it's for lead Karadon, because a lot of people just lead it and click scale shot, because four hit never kills, five hit is a fifty roll to kill. Do people actually lead yeah. skill shot Karai? Yeah, because also nobody knows, nobody thinks it runs D Gleam. I've seen people in this tour, like semifinals, lead that, and then they get D Gleam turn one. Wow. Okay. Uh, one thing is though, I don't know why he's running Terra Normal Arceus, or sorry, Normal Arceus. There's no Basque Legion anymore because that's the whole reason the stall ran it. It was Ida Foul Play Wisp Arceus. Uh, don't know why he's not yeah, fairy yeah, I... sort of to circumvent that. Ride on weakness. Also, bold yeah, turn one. Straight. That yeah, that's very bold. Yeah, because I mean, on this kind of team, the Arceus is probably just going to be full fizz death, and that means it lives Karide on fighting moves. So, oh, so gets he, up he just he, just he gets up that spike and he goes hard Skarmory and he just keeps that layer up. Yeah, it just. Yeah, that spike is going to stay up. Honestly, I don't really know what Oreo does. Yovan just switches around and Oreo has to respond and take spikes at the same time. It looks really rough. I think he honestly just has to pray for a very well played King Gambit. That that's that's his Oh not choosing not to spin there is actually pretty bad, I'd say. Cause had he Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He needs to keep Yovan doesn't need to uh actually he doesn't even need to do do Blissey does Blissey run CM Estos in this tier? I've never seen it. Well, I've seen it once, but it didn't do very well. Because if he's CM Estos, he fully beats this. Because this is the the bulkier Moran on set that I feel doesn't do as well in tour, but does very well on ladder. Um, that's my opinion, though. That's my opinion. Mm, interesting. Obstacle Karide on here. SD's pretty free. Yeah, definitely. Oh, just hard oh, well. That looks to be full fizz as well. Uh, he does get the five hits, so... He might have the to next skill oh, shot wait, no, is out of sun. Ooh, that is true. I think that wasn't thought out very well then by Oreo. Maybe. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, he, he he really didn't have any other outs. If he goes Arceus and invites in Skarmory, he takes the Rocky Helmet chip. Invites in Skarmory or Dirge. Uh, if he goes NDM, literally Skarmory just sits on it forever. Um, this is this is really bad for Oreo, I can't lie. Yeah, really tough position. Because not even 5-hit scale shot kills ho -Oh anymore, so. That is true, yeah. Free opportunity to recover Brave Bird switch into Skeletor or anything, really. Raybird is greedy here, I feel. I would Sacred Fire recover. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. We see the Skarmory. Good double by Oreo. Uh, catching that Skarmory. It's a good double, but it doesn't... It can't really get rewarded, which is what sucks. 
he, he, he forces no progress from here. Yeah, I mean, for everything Oreo can do, Yovan can... That actually does more than I thought it would. Okay. That also did, yeah. But it doesn't matter. You just though. get rid of the T-Spike. Yeah. The Clodsire is really as good as dead, but it wasn't super useful It doesn't here, matter. So. He literally only needed it for Glamora and Maridon, and he's exhausted. He knows that it's seed now. It not being Life Orb is pretty bad. Um... Yeah, it doesn't really have that immediate power, which is really tough. Honestly, if I was to run this team, I might just run it with the, the stall counter team one. At least if I'm running Balloon. Uh, it's just the Calm Mind Taunt. So he's he's not Calm Mind Blissey, it seems. Maybe. Oh, dude, it, it still does nothing. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 see, he is seeing Oh, Blissey. it is, yeah, yeah Blissey, okay. He has to pray for a crit, but I don't think he can boost alongside it for that long. That honestly might be his play. Yeah, I mean, really, if anything, the play is just for Oreo to go for crit. Yeah, I... Because, I mean, yeah. he can heal the parabolic charge theoretically. No, that's only going to take him so far. You well, probably need to be at, like, plus three for crit to even You got to think about kill. PP, right? Uh, how much is he recovering? He's getting back to uh, like... I think he recovered like 15. Okay. So... Hard Gambit. Okay. Those rocks felt a little the greedy rocks. there. Um... I feel no, like Toss would have done the, more. And Yovan wasn't really on the back foot. I guess. I personally think rocks were fine there. We see the Kowtow cleave. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably just going to be a little wisp coming out. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and that... Oh, yeah, now, that it, now it's really it. over. Man, that sucks. Yeah, because that chip damage is... All right, I hope Oreo didn't there. load up the stall last. I don't want to sit through two full stall games. <laughs> wow, that parabolic charge just killed it back to the full. Wow. No, but because Blissey can stall out the terrain so easily, right? And now that he also has burn yeah. against him, he's only recovering like 15% per turn. Yeah, he's taking too much passive. Yep. And Maridon will struggle to come back in when it's taking 18% every single time it comes in. Or no, Absolutely. more. 24, like right? going to go to game three. Yeah, I think it is going to go to game three. What were you saying before? Oh, I said, I said, I think I said Maridon takes 18% when it comes in. But I'm pretty sure it's 24. Or 25, maybe. From spikes and stop rocks, 12.5, 12.5. Yeah, because it's neutral to both. Yep. So. <sighs> math is mathing. Very true. Damn. Yeah, so... He's, he's probably going to be a closet. Yeah. Yep on here. Playing Skarmory. very fast and loose with that Skarmory. I don't like that. I really don't like yeah, that. Yeah, I do not agree with that play at all. That is like your one way to sure. lose. Yeah, like it's not good. Playing that fast and loose with that Skarmory is really your only way to lose. Yeah, because, I mean, Skarmory goes down. What do you do to, about Necrozma, right? I mean, I guess you have ho -Oh, but... Oh, even then, man. No, he, that MDM now just shits on him, dude. Yeah, and he roosted? I don't... Wait, wait, wait. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. I see the vision. I see the... Oh, oh, nice. Well played by, ho -Oh, by uh, Oreo. I see what he's trying to go for. I'd blitz here. Okay, good, good, Claude Sack. Do you think he was just trying to stall out Sun in that case? I'm confused as to why he he isn't just uh, sacking Skeletor's HP. Like, yeah, I feel like it's I less important on it. than um. If I'm the Dirge, I'm hexing here on some G shit. Yeah, I agree. I think I think hex is always the play, right? Nothing nothing really punishes that. Hmm. Okay, he just chooses to wisp. Yep. Yeah, now it's now he's it's really over. I don't like how fast and loose he's playing with that skarmory though. Also, a very lucky scale shot dodge from hit from Yovan. Yeah, super lucky. 
makes actually, up for that. No, no, no. I, I can't even say it makes up for what happened in game one. Game one was actual highway robbery. It was, yeah. Also, he ran, he ran I mean, our I team, think... so I respect him so much for that. <laughs> yeah. Probably see soft foils here. Yeah, now this Maridon is down, it's... You know, there's nothing really stopping ho or Skeledurge from just sitting on the rest of the team. I think Looks he's like got to pray for uh, Gambit. He needs everything to go down, Gambit to Terra. And, um... No, Arceus outspeeds him with foul play. I don't know. I don't know how he's going to win this. Yeah, there might be ideas with King Gambit, but not looking good. No, it's it's your it's literally his only out. He's chipped uh, Ho enough so he can use it as fodder. But if Yovan's smart, which he'll he'll always uh, whirlwind on it, so. But if he can get uh, minus five King Gambit. Yeah. I do think he has an out. Yeah, definitely the only way. Hmm. This game is, this game is, I don't know how much more I can say. Uh, man. Oh, he's just, he's just going to go for... He sees that the King Gambit line is going for it early. Very interesting. Dude, that does not kill. If, he's, if he gets a toss, oh yeah. That chip is so bad because King Gambit's HP, it really matters, especially if he accidentally gets sun up, or if he gets sun up again, and that ho -Oh, that ho -Oh Sacred Fire is still doing too much. He has a Terra now. It's either that or he's sagging Coridon. Yeah. yeah. Either way, I think we'll see recover from Ho here because it just puts him in a better position against stuff like Arceus. No, I'd always you know, whirlwind. No here. matter, what, always whirlwind. Whirlwind. I don't think with two fallen after an SD King Gambit is threatening enough. No, but if he can exhaust Terra, right? If you're a Jovan, it's always smart to whirlwind because if he goes into Arceus, force it out with Dirge. He goes into Necrozma, force it out with Skarmory. He goes into Coridon, he's dead. If he whirlwinds here, he made the right play. Okay. Me personally, I would have whirlwinded there. But yeah, see, him getting sun up now means <clears throat> if he Terra fires but King Gambit, he simply takes way too much. Yeah. So it seems that Oreo has lost to Timer. Feels bad, man. But that is. Oh, he said he didn't even realize that the timer went out. That's bad. Yeah. It didn't really matter, but... Yeah, towards the end, it's it. kind of over anyway. But, uh... Is what it is. Um... Let's see. We'll resume when we get up a game three. <laughs> Guys, we're back! Oh, and it's no. a stall versus stall matchup. <laughs> no! It's over. Dude, I don't want to watch uh, this shit! <laughs> the oh my god. The Wait, they actually loaded up the same stall! No, it's Skarm versus uh, Gliscor. It's Skarm versus Gliscor, dude. <laughs> That's oh so funny, dude. This is this is this is a war of attrition now. All right, guys, we're back with game four, and it looks like in the ten minutes we've waited, Jovan has ripped. <laughs> Oreo's team from game one. Um, no, actually, uh, I know what Oreo's running. I have the paste. Um, it's Fizz Def, CM Ground Seas, Terra Fairy, I think. Um, I don't know what it is, but it, it it's not it's not great into uh, LO Double Dance Mirai. This looks like a heater, though. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. This will not be ending in a tie. Is there a next round hard. after this? Between winner of the loser's bracket and winner of the winner's bracket? Uh, probably, right? Is that how that works? Because this is winner's... It's winner's finals, and then... The winner of this plays the winner of loser's finals in grand finals. Alright, like, alright. I did not know that. I needed that clarification. <laughs> they do. I just... Yeah. 
Looks like a uh, Yovan's Arceus is really good here, especially if you commit Terra. Mm. He also can never lose to Basque. Yovan kind of got this. I feel like he's he's got the the, the matchup advantage. Uh, Oreo can't go all in on Basque win con because um, he has that he has that ditto. Yeah, sure. I think Yovan has this in the bag. At least matchup wise, looking at initially. Um, yeah, I mean it's not like it's not like it's you know a hundred zero matchup here or anything. It's not 100-0, but it's definitely in Oreo's favor. Also, what do you think that NDM set is on Oreo's side? Ooh, um... It, NDM on webs is interesting. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, uh, Oreo has no dark resist. Doesn't Yovan, in theory, sack everything and then get Ditto up in front of Basque and win? Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, if uh, if uh, Basque Legion is, or if Last Respect is still allowed. Yeah, uh, it is, it is. Because I thought it got banned. But... No, 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 not for this round. It's for Grand Finals, it is. Because technically the round started, oh. I think. Actually, I'm not sure oh, how it Oh, it works. started before Last Respect got banned. Oh, such a bad miss from Oreo's side with that Meteor Beam. Yeah, it's really unlucky. I'm surprised uh, Jovan didn't protect there, though. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like that evens that evens out the hacks now. True. The scale shot miss and the meter beam miss, and then the game one T wave Draco miss. I think they're even. Yeah, meteor beam is actually not ninety percent. Huh. Going into Rabombi is interesting. Yeah. Because Gliscor just sets up, just sits on this, and he gets some axe hazards. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not exactly like this team loves to eat spikes. Also, Gliscor isn't needed for much anymore. So uh, I'd say good use of the Gliscor by Yovan. He's gotten so much mileage out of it. Yeah, but he also got up only two layers of spikes, which is, as they say, bad. I think if he's real, he goes back into Gliscor here. On the potential ice beam, I like it. Dragon Dance. Oh, is this is this Dragon Dance? He could be ice beam. Yeah. He could be that that the. Okay, so he's top. Okay. All right, well played. So, is that bulky? Uh, I don't think it's entirely bulky. <gasps> Ooh, Stone Edge crits coming out. But now what switches into this? Yeah, I mean, with the hazards up, right? Looks like Yofan's gonna take it. You think he just takes it from here? Honestly, yeah. Dude, this is such a... This is, no, he's going out sad like this, dude. Oh, man. Done in by the Ditto. No, man, Ditto really smokes this last team. That's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, Alexa, this is so sad. Play Despacito. Alexa, play Darude Sandstorm. Man, you were so old. You were so old, man. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Oreo has an out to this. I don't think Karidon kills with anything. Um. Also, no way NDM lives, and no way it's not Terrifier. Yeah, true. Could be like the bad Terra Ground, but mm, you know it, it has no reason to be Terra Ground when he has Ground Seas. It has no reason to. Okay. Honestly, good on his part, not being greedy and going into uh, Fairy Arceus. We're both bad for thinking he should stay in there. Or at least, yeah. He is T Wave. Yeah, okay, so T-Wave reveal. T-Wave getting revealed is actually pretty bad. But, um... 
Honestly, it all comes down to what this NDM set is. But uh, Jovan just has too many sacks up with... Uh, he can stall out Trick Room pretty easily. I mean, Ori just goes hard Ho-Oh because plus two Photon doesn't kill full of his death. <laughs> yeah, no, it seems like it's over. I also do think... That Karadon's taking... T you think... How's Last Respects uh, calculated with Ditto? Um, I think it's just... I think it's just normal. It's just normal? Like, it's... I think... I'm pretty sure it's as if you had your own Basque Legion. Then... Yovan's kind of inclined to just sack stuff. Because I think it's it's better for Yovan if NDM loses a lot into... Like, like kills a lot of his team because then he just goes in with Ditto. Keeps one sack and then just cleans up. I think. Ditto... Or... Yeah, or, I mean... Yeah. I don't think you really want to play that aggressively. I mean, I, I think that definitely could lose a winning position if, you know, Karadon does some Karadon things, but... No, when you have a, uh, a Arceus Fairy that's just always deny. Yeah. Oh, Boots Necrozma. Oh, he's DD. You think okay. he is? He could still be... Yeah, no, he's fully DD Morning Sun, actually. He could be tear yep. ground here. Maybe. <laughs> He'd have to be... Yeah, this is probably DD3 attacks, yeah. No, he could also be bulky DD Morning Sun, but I don't think so, because that ground is seems bulky, but then again, 120-120, taking like 25 from a Gliscor EQ yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Hard, Hard photon. photon. Better. So no Terra Ground comes out. I wonder what he's saving Terra for. He could be Terra Normal at Basque. I think that's how he wins, actually. Terra Normal? <laughs> that's so crazy. That could be what he's what, what out he's playing for, dude. Yeah, I mean, either way it loses to Maridon ideas, but... If he gets an agility up... With Basque? I mean, yeah. I guess. But even then, you have to position well because Ooh. the Maridon's probably boots. Unlucky Perez, but I don't think it made much of a difference in the long run. I yeah, think he's no. going oh, to go into Karidon and Blitz. Yeah, if I'm him, I'm staying way, in with just... Ho-Oh, just to establish dominance. Mm. Oh, that's a cool... Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he had to stay in there. Yeah, I mean, the play was always Brave Bird right there. The play right here yeah, is, now, is now, be now. Terra Normal and dodge this. Oh. oh. Oh, he played that so much better, clicking Sacred Fire there. He's just, he's just got a dodge burn here. I think maybe. Question mark. What's what's he playing for? I guess like maybe he's trying to wear it down with substitute and put it into Aqua Jet range. Oh. But even true. then, you can't really. That's not even a winning idea when Maridon is in the back anyway. Yeah. Dude, unless he's double dance Mirai. Oh man, no, it's it seems like it's over. That's Boots Mirai. Yeah. I wonder what Terra it was. But damn. Damn GG's. Good set. Kinda sad that Oreo lost it, but you know what? If a dude who's running our shit ass teams is making it to grand finals, we will be there. Um We will. We will be there. Alright, if you guys enjoyed the video. Like, sub, and um, uh, especially subscribe if you love stall mirrors. All right, goodbye. I love mirrors personally. <laughs>